Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Mozilla rolled out Firefox version 144. And one of the new features in 144 was new profile management, which has been a highly requested feature. I'll leave the video for that linked if you'd like more information. And the profile management, though, is rolling out controls. So although it was a new feature in last week's update, myself and a whole lot of other users haven't seen it yet in the stable version. Now, if we head over to the nightly version, which is sitting on version 146, and we head into our main menu profiles and manage profiles, this is the profile management I'm referring to, as you may well know. And a lot of users rely on Firefox profiles to keep work and personal data separate. Now, because of this, if you have a numerous profiles, and if you have a lot of profiles in Firefox, unfortunately in the stable, you still cannot create desktop shortcuts to each individual profile to make opening different profiles a lot easier and faster. Now this looks like it's all set to change in Firefox 146, which is the early nightly preview version, where Mozilla has now simplified this by adding a native option in Firefox. So if we head into edit profile, you'll see uh, create desktop shortcut. There we go. And you can do this for each profile. So if you've got three, four different profiles, you can create a desktop shortcut for each different profile. So if we close the browser, yeah, you'll see original profile. And each profile obviously will be what you have titled it in the browser. And you click on that. And there we go, that opens up in that profile. So if I had another profile, so if I had other profiles, I could select the different profiles, create shortcuts on my desktop, and there we go, a lot easier. If this is something you are using in the browser, multiple profiles, mainly for different school and work or work and home accounts. And I think that's great. It just gives you options. I'm always for options. You got the option to turn it on. You got the option to turn it off. And that's in Firefox 146. And I don't see why this wouldn't make its way into the stable version. I think it's just a matter of time. And obviously, when that happens, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.